Hi Taurus, welcome to your May 2023 Life Sector Tarot reading with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. So remember, these are purely tarot. There is no astrology in these, so you can watch them for your sun, your moon, or your ascendant. I advise that you watch all three so you can get a clearer picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody, and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment, but these are... <clears throat> Um, or should I say, happy damn birthday to you. I truly hope you have a wonderful, wonderful solar return and I really hope that you fill that day with all of the goodies and the blessings and the wondrous things that you want for this next year uh, on that day. All right, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Okay, so going to pop these here. So for your actions and plans, you've got the Hermit card, you've got the Seven of Wands, and you've got the Seven of Cups. So what do we see here? Two sevens. Two sevens represents news. So new knowledge, new information is coming in that is probably going to help you adjust or adapt to the path that you're taking. Remember, you've got Jupiter coming into your sign on May the 16th, so that is going to be a big day for you in this whole year ahead after that. The next 12 months following are going to be huge. Now, the Hermit card with the Seven of Wands basically says that your actions over this over the course of this month are very much focused on yourself, right? This is you being very self-focused, self, as I like to call it, self-centered, not like me, 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 like not selfish like that or self-centered like that, but self-centered, right? Mind, body, heart, spirit, all aligned, all working towards one common goal. Um, and this really does suggest that you are fighting for yourself like never before. So I absolutely love that. That seven of wands with the seven of cups, this does suggest that there is some slight confusion here though about either what you are, I love that you're fighting for yourself, but maybe you are fighting in the wrong direction. This is kind of like, um, what am I trying to say here to clarify? It's kind of like, you know, when you see in football, when they do an own goal, like they're, they're rushing so much that they've, you know, they're so frantic that they, they don't realize that they, well, they accidentally put the ball in their own net, right? This could be akin to that. So before you go off on a rampage, like, you know, just doing your, your wild wilderness thing, which, you know, when you're ready and you've got a clear direction, absolutely go for it. But this does suggest that you before you charge off out there into the world or into the distance, you know, giving it the big of I'm fighting for myself and fuck everyone else, be damned, which, you know, you guys very much deserve at this moment in time. Um, before you do that, be sure of the path, right? Clarify to yourself and over the course of this, this month, you will get some news, some knowledge, some information will be given to you that we'll see you, maybe for a minute, you're kind of like, okay, I don't really know what to do with this. And then once you've digested it, you're like, okay, now I know how to stand for myself. Now I know where to fight for myself, all right? So while it might be some kind of upheaval, it could actually be information that you've needed to help give you a focus and a direction for yourself. When it comes to your career and communications, you've got the Two of Cups, so partnering up, great, with the Two of Cups, uh, two, uh, the High Priestess, wow, okay, all right, and then you've got the King of Swords. So, King of Swords, usually an air sign male, but in this regard, because we're talking about career, I wonder if this is a professional person that you are working with or alongside. This is you gathering knowledge, information, or wisdom in some regard. Now, the Two of Cups with the High Priestess, that's potentially, and this happened for Aries as well, which is really interesting. Um, this is potentially sort of a work-based relationship that is very much on the hush. With the High Priestess and the King of Swords, that is potentially a move, contract, or... Um, uh, yeah, a move, a contract of some sort that is happening very much behind the scenes. But this is you partnering up with someone. Now, it may be that this person is either very well known in their field. Maybe they just don't want to, you know, anybody knowing what they're up to. Now, the High Priestess is number two. The Two of Cups is obviously the number two. You've got two twos here as well. Two sevens is news. Two twos is uh, a bond, a pact or an accord. 
But because you've got this King of Swords, this is an official contract. This is an official bond. This is an official connection, but one that is kept very silent. It's like you're not talking about this out there in the world. Now, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this could be help and support that comes from a superior, a teacher, a lecturer, maybe a head of department, etc. But it, it's supposed to be, you know, they might actually say to you, look, you need to keep this under wraps because it's not supposed to be common knowledge. Um, it could, if you're, if you work for, uh, if you're employed by somebody else, one way that this potentially shows up is your boss or maybe an area manager, etc. Maybe you're having a conversation and you don't realise the level of which, you know, the information that they've just given you. Uh, this is the time for you to, Taurus is a very trustworthy sign actually. Um, a lot of what they, you know, goes in doesn't necessarily come out. But I will say with this, especially if it's a work-based thing, keep your mouth shut. All right, like this is really, really important. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, similar kind of energy. The difference is this could potentially be uh, an NDA that you need to sign. It could be, um, you, you know, maybe you're working with someone who, you know, maybe a high net worth individual. So they kind of say to you, look, you know, I don't, I don't really want this to be common knowledge. Maybe you're working with a very large sum of money, like whatever it is that's going on in your business, it's very official, but it will need to be kept under wraps. It's not for you know common knowledge or common consumption. For those of you that are retired and no longer working for any reason, it's a very different energy for you guys because you don't have any of that going on. So this is potentially something that somebody shares with you that allows you to kind of see things maybe in your family or even with those closest to you or even a friendship circle in a very different light. Um, it could also be that you are observing somebody else experience a very intense legal situation um, that they are, you know, as yet not really allowed to, di um, to divulge. So it could be a very interesting month for a lot of you. Uh, for your love and relations, you've got the Five of Cups with the Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. If you are partnered, married, or in a long-term commitment, there's a potential here that you and your partner are spending an extended period of time away from each other this month. So maybe one of you's traveling, uh, maybe one of you's away for work, you know, very, very possible. Um, the other thing as well, there's a potential here that you're, um, you know, for those of you, let's say you've just parted company with your significant other, you know, whether you were or weren't married or whatever, let's say you've, you're in a relationship that's come to an end. I would not be surprised if over the course of this month, there is a conversation that comes up to say, look, I really miss you. Can we be together? You, you know, all the things, right? Very possible. The other thing that I will say to you with that Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, be very mindful if you're in a relationship that's come to an end, be very mindful of, of who you allow to put thoughts and feelings and stuff into your head. What I mean by this is, if that person has gone to their, you know, their people and said, look, I really miss this person or whatever, and then a family member or a friend or whatever of theirs comes forward to say like, oh, you know, can't you try again? Be very careful, all right? Just because of the combination of cards that it is. For those of you that are single and out there looking to mingle, it looks like you've had kind of the end of what I like to call a situationship. So maybe somebody that you kind of had thought, mm, you know, yeah, I think maybe we're gonna, you know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. And then after a conversation that you have this this month, you kind of come to the conclusion that, yeah, actually, no, this, this, this is not right for me. So it's probably gonna be you that breaks it off, but that five of, five of cups with the eight of wands, you will feel this. I think even though you know that this isn't necessarily the right person for you, you might kind of think, mm, you know, now if you're single, single, and there's nobody, nobody in the picture, this may very well be that you, you get really serious through a conversation with a friend or a family member about where it is that you actually stop yourself from getting into anything with, with someone before, before you've re really given yourself a chance, you know, like whatever that might be, maybe you shoot down the people that offer themselves. Maybe you, uh, you know, don't believe that you're worthy of a relationship. Maybe you, 
you know, like where you get in your own way, basically. Like the, the reason that you're single, that may be your own, uh, your own, I don't like the word fault, but your own uh, tendency. All right. So for your money and materials, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. You're working towards getting that money solid with the Six of Pentacles, potentially a gift of finances or money coming from or through the family with the Page of Cups. This is a fantastic month for money. Lean into it, whether you're employed by somebody else, whether you're employed, uh, self-employed business owner, whatever the case might be, there is money to be had this month. It just relies on you doing the work and also doing something that a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of Torians seem to be uncomfortable with, either asking for help and that doesn't have to be, can you lend me money? But, it, you know, whatever it is that you need, this is not a month to go it alone. We've seen that with the two twos, right? Well, the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. Now, you've also got the Page of Cups. So when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is, I love this for getting, uh, getting your health to some kind of optimum. But with that Six of uh, Pentacles in the middle, this does suggest um, for a select few of you, touch wood, hope that's not the case. Also remember, I'm not a doctor. I can't give you medical advice and this is not medical advice in any way, shape or form. But if you have any problems that have been persistent, go and get your thyroid checked. As a Taurus, you naturally rule this part of the body anyway. Uh, the thyroid is in that space. So if you've got any problems that have been persistent that are internal or expressing externally, but you're not feeling great, Ask your doctor uh, or your medical professional to check your thyroid and your hormone levels in that regard. Um, also, it looks like for those of you that have had problems with the voice or lost the voice recently, uh, this is you getting that voice back in a big way. When it comes to your uh, home and environment, I love this for building a strong home, whatever that means to you, right? This could also be that you are connecting with or inviting people over. I will say that this month potentially is very busy and I've got to be honest with you, you've got two options. You can socialize and have lots of people around and do all of that, or you can make money. This month you can't do both. I will leave it up to you and your capable hands, all right? With that said, happy damn birthday to you. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, I'll see you soon.